Has your iPhone's control center stopped working after the iOS 18 update? Hello friends, here's Carly. In this video, I will show 8 solutions to eliminate the problem of the control center not working. So, let's see what to do. The control center is a versatile tool that offers quick access to commonly used functions. It allows you to snap a photo swiftly, activate with fee, and manage your Apple TV, home app, among other actions. You can only pull down one corner from the top right corner on Face ID iPhone and swipe up on the home button iPhone. As you can see, the control center doesn't make sense. So, let's see how to fix it. The first helpful solution is to check for software updates. If your iPhone runs on beta, it's mean to have bugs. So, keep your iPhone updated with the latest iOS version. Wait for the official version or remove the previous iOS updates and download and install the latest iOS version when it is available. Here are the steps. Launch the Settings app and tap on the General section. Then, tap on Software Update. Wait until your iPhone checks for an update. If the Update Now button is available, tap on Download and install the latest software update. Once you download the latest software version, try to open the Control Center. If you encounter lagging issues when opening the Control Center and scrolling, follow the second beneficial solution, Force Restart iPhone. It is the best bet to resolve the software bugs on your iPhone. Let's see the steps. Quickly press and release the volume up button. Press and release the volume down button. Then, press and hold the side power button on your iPhone until you see the Apple logo. Release the power button and wait for your iPhone to restart. Enter your lock screen passcode to unlock your iPhone and check whether you access the control center. If you have enabled the voiceover feature on your iPhone, you won't be able to open the control center from the top of your screen. Follow the third handy solution, turn off voiceover, to fix it. So, let's look at the manual steps to turn off voiceover. First, tap on the settings app icon to select. Then, double tap on it to launch the Settings app. To scroll in any app, swipe up, down, left, or right with three fingers. Keep three fingers aligned like this. Tap on Accessibility to select and double tap to open the Accessibility settings. Then, single tap to select VoiceOver and double tap to open it. Then, double tap the toggle next to the VoiceOver to turn it off. That's it. Sometimes, when you turn on the voiceover feature, your iPhone screen turns black. It may happen due to a software bug in your iPhone. You can ask Siri to turn it off instantly. Press and hold the side button until Siri wakes up. You feel haptic and say turn off the voiceover. That's it. Also, if you have enabled assistive touch settings, you can turn off voiceover using it. To do this, tap on the Assistive Touch icon, double tap to open the Assistive Touch menu, and tap on the Control Center. Double tap to open the Control Center. To close the Control Center, do a two-finger scrub. Move your fingers back and forth three times quickly, making the letter Z. That's it. If you can't swipe down the Control Center, Let's look at the fourth advantageous solution. Enable access within the Control Center apps. It's straightforward and often solves the issue. Launch the Settings app on your iPhone. Then, tap to open the Control Center settings. Now, turn on the toggle beside Access within apps. As you can see here, I can easily access the Control Center from the iPhone's home screen but can't from the lock screen. To solve this issue, let's follow the fifth functional solution, enable control center access when locked. Here are the steps. 
Launch the Settings app on your iPhone. Swipe up and head to the Face ID and Passcode section. Enter your iPhone passcode to verify, then swipe to the Allow Access When Locked section. Here, turn on the toggle next to the Control Center. Now, I can access the Control Center from my iPhone lock screen. That's it. If you can't open the Control Center or your phone doesn't respond to your touch, follow the sixth favorable solution. Clean your iPhone screen. Take a microfiber cloth and clean your iPhone's display screen. If you see scratches or cracks, your iPhone's display may get unresponsive to touch. So, we recommend replacing them. If it is still not working, don't worry, the seventh serviceable solution is to reset all settings. This method helps you resolve the problem of the control center not working by restoring your iPhone system settings to their default values. Reset all settings method fixes all software-related issues without erasing your iPhone data. Let's follow the steps. Launch the Settings app on your iPhone. Tap on General section. Swipe to the bottom and tap the Transfer and Reset iPhone option. Then, tap to select the Reset option. Multiple options are available here. Tap on Reset All Settings. After that, your iPhone may show an Enter Passcode screen. So, enter your lock screen passcode to proceed. Then, a pop-up may appear to confirm the Reset All Settings process. Wait for the reset process to complete. Unlock your iPhone and check whether the problem is solved. As you can see here, I can access the control center on my iPhone. And reset by default. If you see that the home control is missing from the control center, don't worry, it's not a bug. It may be caused by an app being locked or hidden. So, if you lock the home app behind Face ID, it doesn't appear in the control center. First, you must remove the Face ID restriction and manually add it from the control center. Head to the iPhone home screen and find the home app. Then, press and hold the home app icon to view the options. Tap on Don't Require Face ID. Your iPhone detects your Face ID and removes the Face ID restrictions. Swipe down from the top right corner to open the control center. As you can see here, re-add home control to control center. Open control center, touch and hold to edit control center, and tap on add control at bottom option, and search home control. The home app icon is available here. That's it. When you lock or hide the home app, home control will be removed from the control center automatically. If none of the solutions work, Choosing the eighth working solution might be best. Get assistance from Apple Support. You can contact Apple Support directly by visiting the Get Support page on Safari or Chrome. The link is in the video description. You can also get assistance via chat or call from Apple Support experts. Also, you can make a Genius Bar appointment and visit an Apple Authorized Service Center to fix your problem. Tap the top iCard to watch the full video on how to make Genius Bar Appointment on iPhone. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more content and videos like this. See you in the next video.